Now, this sounds both frightening, I guess, and complicated. So I'll try to explain uh, what it means. First of all, what does it mean that feelings and organisms really are algorithms? Uh, you can say that in a way it's possible to summarize more than a century of research in the life sciences and especially in, in biology and in evolution, in evolution in just three words. Organisms are algorithms. This is now more and more the dominant view, not only in the life sciences, but also in computer science, which is why the two are merging. Uh, and what, is, what, what, what this idea that organisms are algorithms, what it really means is that human feelings, and not just human, also chimpanzee and elephant and dolphin feelings, uh, sensations and emotions, they're all just a biochemical process of calculation, calculating probabilities in order to make decisions. Uh, feelings are not some metaphysical quality that God gave Homo sapiens in order to write poetry and appreciate music. Feelings are um, processes of calculation, biochemical calculation, shaped by millions of years of natural selection to enable humans and other mammals and other animals to make good decisions when they are faced with problems of survival and reproduction. What does it mean? Let's take a concrete example. Let's say you are a baboon somewhere in the African savanna, and you face a typical problem of survival. In order to survive, you have to eat. In order to survive, you have to be careful not to be eaten by somebody else. And let's say that as you walk along the savanna, you suddenly see a tree with bananas on it but you also see a lion not far from the tree. And you need to make a decision whether to risk your life for the bananas or not. This is the kind of problem that animals like baboons and like humans have been facing for millions and millions of years. Now in order to, this is really a question of calculating probabilities. I, the baboon, I need to calculate the probability that I would starve to death if I don't eat the bananas versus the probability that the lion will eat me if I try to reach for these bananas. I need to know which probability is higher in order to make a good decision. F to, for that, I first of all need to collect a lot of data. I need data about the bananas. How far are the bananas? How many bananas? Are they big or small, ripe or green? It's one situation when we are talking about 10 big ripe bananas, and it's very different if you have just two small green bananas. Similarly, I need information, I need data about the lion. How far is the lion? How big is the lion? How fast I think the lion can run? Uh, is the lion asleep or awaken? Uh, does the lion look hungry or satiated? I need all these kinds of data about the lion. And of course, I need a lot of data about myself, how hungry I am, how fast I can run, and so forth. Then I need to take all these pieces of data and somehow calculate them very, very fast, the probabilities. How does the baboon do it? The baboon does not take out a pen and a piece of paper or calculator and start calculating probabilities. No, the entire body of the baboon is the calculator. It takes in the data with what we call our senses, our sensations, with our sight, with our smell, with our ears. We take in all the data also from within the body. And then the nervous system and the brain, they are the calculator that within a split second calculates the probabilities and the answer will appear not as a number, the answer will appear as a feeling or an emotion. 
if uh, chances are that I, I should go and, and get the bananas, then this will appear as the emotion of courage. I will feel very courageous. I feel I can do it. All my, hand, all my hair will stand. I'll, my chest will puff up, and I'll run for the bananas. If the result of the calculation is that it's too dangerous, then this too will appear not as a number, but as an emotion. This is fear. This is how fear emerges. And I will be very frightened and run away from there. So what we, in day-to-day -day language, call feelings and emotions and so forth, according to the standard theory today in the life sciences, these are really biochemical algorithms calculating probabilities.